the, the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. We absolutely adore this man. You can catch him every morning on Sky News. And there's a special investigation coming out. Are we ready for war? Oh, big question. It's the free thinking. Peter, step it over. Woo! Good to see you guys. Happy Andrew, New Year. To you too, mate. Are we ready for war? Nothing to do with Michael Clark. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> should have waited, shouldn't I? I've, I've gone so, too hard too early. It seems like a dramatic question to ask. It seems a reasonable one to ask, though, because... Um, it's all about Taiwan, and China said that it'll take mm-hmm. Taiwan, and if yep. it does, yes. then are we going to get involved? And if we do get involved, then that will make us a target. And are we ready? Yep. Are we? I mean, if someone does invade Australia, I mm. mean, how unprepared will we be? Very much so, and uh, and I guess the short answer is is no, we're not ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and there's no single person to blame for this or single government because this has been happening for years now. Yeah. It's just that our priorities have been somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, China has been know. you know, quietly doing its thing and all of a sudden they're at a point now where they've got just about the strongest military in the world oh. and they're flexing their mus- muscles and they're militarising the South China Sea and they're making advances in our region now. It's like all of a sudden, whoa, what have we been doing yeah, all this exactly. time? We need yeah. to we need yeah. to get ourselves ready. So there's been a, 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 a series of changes and announcements over the past few months that indicate where we're heading, but uh, it's going to take us some time to get you there. You say conscription, don't you say, Pete? Are get you ready for back, it? Yeah, yeah, get everyone yeah. back out there yeah. fighting. You're going to hey, get your um, bayonet. <laughs> Pete, Sky News, yeah. uh, wonderful broadcast. Thank you. Um, the ads for Sky News that you do see in the paper and also on the TV, you have to be very serious. Yeah. Don't you? I mean, there's yeah, not well, a lot of Fitzy and I when we appear on a billboard or something. Funny hands. Uh, you know, maybe you a know, funny know, jump or funny, something. Yeah. Or, These are serious matters. Yeah, they are. Don't get me wrong. I understand. <laughs> I can't, Chinese, I can't talk about are we ready for war? Laughing, you know. <laughs> no, I know, and I understand. <laughs> are we ready for war? Awesome. Awesome. Jeez, that's terrible. Can we? I, I mean, we have to address it. And there's nothing you can say. But is Carlos doing oh, all right? Is he okay? Was this about your no. conversation in the Uber? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's, I think he's oh, going sorry. okay. Yeah. He's spoken ago. to him. Yeah. I mean, you're probably his best mate. Is he doing all right? Yeah, he's he's he's, he's hanging in there. Do you, he, do you reckon the the relationship with Pup would have to be over now, though, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, Mike, you, I, you never know how these things work out. You know, there's 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 what is it? Ebbs and flows. Yeah, exactly. Flows are you know? so funny that they move past stuff. Whereas women, that yeah. would be it. Yeah, he's all right though. Have he's you, just he's got he's just in Pap City at the moment again. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. That must be so because as soon as he walks out that front. Door, they're straight onto it. Yeah, aren't yeah, they, yeah. And it's it's never a, a flattering photo. No, it's they not. Take, is it? It? It's always mid stride. Yeah, but why, you know, is he, or... why does he mow the lawns in tight shorts and blundstones? That's what I've always wondered. Yeah, well, that's that's the man. He's a larrikin, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, a, a bogan, as, uh, <laughs> as some might say. That's why we love. That's him. why we love him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we want to do the headline off. You're up against Matty De Groot. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to be doing this next. Are uh, we ready for war? Are we ready for Warsome? For Warsome. Are we ready for Warsome? Yeah. For your first headline. It, it is a topical story. I give it to you, and you boys have to give me your best headline. Pete Stevanovic versus Matt DeGroote. We'll do it next. We have the magnificent Pete Stevanovic. You can catch him every morning. First edition on Sky News. Are we ready for war? Wednesday, 15th of Feb, 7.30 on Foxtel Flash and Sky News Regional as well. But he is here for Headline Off. Let's do it. Oh. Matt DeGroote's job is to read out headlines. Yeah. He's not that great at it, but gets it right sometimes. Wander past and you'll be carrying twins by the end of the day. <laughs> Peter Stefanovich is about to rip out his spine. Well, metaphorically, with well, some headlines. Actually, I do, speaking of that, because Pete was over in the UK for the Queen's funeral. Yes. And my wife was over there as well and did a whole bunch of segments with Pete. Our show. And the on-screen chemistry between my wife and Peter Stefanovic really? was intercontinental. Well, there you and go. I have been ready to tear <laughs> you down. Intercontinental. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a buffet. My favourite time of breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All awesome. Right. All right, let's do this. This is the headline off. Matty DeGroote, you can go first. Uh, Topical story. Give us your best headline. Oh, this is a big one. Wick, you touched on this yesterday. Buzz Aldrin marries on his 93rd birthday. Astronaut legend ties the knot for a fourth time. Okay. Ah, Buzz Aldrin married. Best headline, go. 
Buzz's wedding night romp might seem outrageous, but at least he's probably too old to explore Uranus. Oh! <laughs> oh Gee, man. That's, oh, that's, that's first nasty one for the year. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> that's a space room. Speaking of <laughs> in, intercontinental. <laughs> Whoa. All right, let's go, feet. <clears throat> Buzz is in love and he just can't stop it. However, sadly, there's no way of launching Buzz's love rocket. Oh, oh, oh that's really tough. Good. That is awesome. Hang on, I need to consult with Fitzy. Oh, oh my God, Uranus, 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 Uranus. All right, MDJ, you get that. Yes. Oh, oh, Fitzy's choice. Well, well done. All right, Smut. Pete, here we go. You're kicking off the second one. Story is Aussie mum claims her son can talk and he is just six weeks old. What? Son who is six weeks old can talk best. Headline, Pete. Talking at six weeks old does sound quite nifty, but you boys can't talk. And you're both nearly 50. Oh! Oh, Holy morning's, mate. Pretty good. MDG. <laughs> Talks basic English with the humour of a kid. If he can get on the batch, he'll get a brekkie radio gig. Oh! oh very similar. Oh, very nice. I would have to say that yeah, Pete got in too. I was going to say Pete. Pete's got in. Well, hey! I'm right, nervous around him. <laughs> All right, here we go. MDG, you're going first. This is the tiebreaker. A raccoon found frozen to a railway track by its <laughs> testicles. What? It's fine, by the way. It's written here. The raccoon <laughs> is fine, but it's found frozen to a railway Tom. track by its testicles. She <laughs> is. <clears throat> he was found doing what he loved, so these jokes are too soon. But why are we calling Tom a raccoon? Very good, Matt. One of your best. Well done. Pete's never over. Let's do it. A hairy animal stuck by the Jats crackers in pain. But the real question is, what was Whipper doing catching the train? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, it's got an opal cast. <laughs> 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 the Jack's crackers line. Jack's crackers oh. is my favourite expression. Oh. It's yeah. gonna be Pete. Oh. 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 The come from behind. I like the come from behind. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Thanks for coming awesome. in, Pete. You can catch him every morning. First edition on Sky News. Love you, Pete. Good to see you guys. What well on, buddy. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.